Good evening, everyone. Welcome to evening prayer in the season of Advent. It's the very end of the season of Advent. It uh, probably feels a bit like the last gasp of Advent because by this time tomorrow, the, uh, we will be at Christmas Eve and we will be launching into a celebration of the Incarnation. Our pattern for evening prayer follows common worship. I know some people follow on the common worship app. If you use the books, evening prayer for Advent begins on page 205. Others are uh, very happy and very welcome just to listen and to dwell with us this evening. Of course, I'm here in Great Yarmouth Minster. I'm in St Andrew's Chapel in the, uh, the south east, uh, southeast corner of Great Yarmouth Minster. And wherever you are, it's lovely to know that you're joining with me as we unite in prayer with Christians across the world this evening. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Reveal among us the light of your presence, that we may behold your power and glory. Creator of the starry height, thy people's everlasting light, Jesus, Redeemer of us all, hear thou thy servants when they call. Thou sorrowing at the helpless cry, of all creation doomed to die, didst come to save our fallen race by healing gifts of heavenly grace. When earth was near its evening hour, thou didst in love's redeeming power like bridegroom from his chamber come, forth from a virgin mother's womb. At thy great name exalted now, all knees in lowly homage bow, all things in heaven and earth adore and only King forevermore. To God the Father, God the Son, and God the Spirit, three in one, praise, honour, might and glory be, from age to age eternally. Amen. Blessed are you, sovereign God, creator of light and darkness. To you be glory and praise for ever. As evening falls, you renew your promise to reveal among us the light of your presence. May your word be a lantern to our feet and a light upon our path, that we may behold your coming among us. Strengthen us in our stumbling weakness, and free our tongues to sing your praise. Blessed be God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Blessed be God forever. That this evening may be holy, good, and peaceful, let us pray with one heart and mind. as our evening prayer rises before you, O God. That this evening may be holy, good and peaceful. So may your mercy come down upon us to cleanse our hearts and set us free to sing your praise now and forever. Amen. Psalm 89 verses 1 to 8. My song shall be always of the loving kindness of the Lord. With my mouth will I proclaim your faithfulness 
throughout all generations. I will declare that your love is established forever. You have set your faithfulness as firm as the heavens. For you said, I have made a covenant with my chosen one. I have sworn an oath to David, my servant. Your seed will I establish forever and build up your throne for all generations. The heavens praise your wonders, O Lord, and your faithfulness in the assembly of the holy ones. For who among the clouds can be compared to the Lord? Who is like the Lord among the host of heaven? A God feared in the council of the holy ones, great and terrible above all those round about him. Who is like you, Lord God of hosts? Mighty Lord, your faithfulness is all around you. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be for ever. Amen. Our Old Testament reading, Isaiah chapter 56, beginning the first verse. Thus says the Lord, maintain justice and do what is right, for soon my salvation will come and my deliverance be revealed. Happy is the mortal who does this, the one who holds it fast, who keeps the Sabbath not profaning it, and refrains from doing any evil. Do not let the foreigner join to the Lord say, the Lord will surely separate me from his people, and do not let the eunuch say, I am just a dry tree. For thus says the Lord to the eunuchs who keep my Sabbaths, who choose the things that please me and hold fast my covenants, I will give in my house and within my walls a monument and a name better than sons and daughters. I will give them an everlasting name that shall not be cut off. And the foreigners who join themselves to the Lord to minister to him to love the name of the Lord and to be his servants, all who keep the Sabbath and do not profane it and hold fast to my covenants. These I will bring to my holy mountain and make them joyful in my house of prayer. Their burnt offerings and their sacrifices will be accepted on my altar. For my house shall be called a house of prayer for all peoples. Thus says the Lord God, who gathers the outcasts of Israel, I will gather others to them besides those already gathered. The Canticle. Surely I am coming soon. Amen. Come, Lord Jesus. Behold, I am coming soon, says the Lord, and bringing my reward with me, to give to everyone according to their deeds. I am the Alpha and the Omega, the first and the last, the beginning and the end. Blessed are those who do God's commandments, that they may have the right to the tree of life and may enter into the city through the gates. I, Jesus, have sent my angel to you with this testimony for all the churches. I am the root and the offspring of David. I am the bright morning star. Come, say the Spirit and the Bride. Come, let each era hear a reply. Come forward, you who are thirsty. Let those who desire take the water of life as a gift. To the one who sits on the throne and to the Lamb, be blessing and honour and glory and might for ever and ever. Amen. Surely I am coming soon. Amen. Come, Lord Jesus. from the third chapter of the second letter of Peter, beginning the first verse, our New Testament reading. This is now, beloved, the second letter I am writing to you. In them, I am trying to arouse your sincere intention by reminding you 
that you should remember the words spoken in the past by the holy prophets and the commandment of the Lord and Saviour spoken through your apostles. First of all, you must understand this, that in the last days scoffers will come, scoffing and indulging their own lusts and saying, where is the promise of his coming? For ever since our ancestors died, all things continue as they were from the beginning of creation. They deliberately ignore this fact that by the word of God, heavens existed long ago, and an earth was formed out of water and by means of water, through the, which the world of that time was deluged with water and perished. But by the same word, the present heavens and earth have been reserved for fire, being kept until the day of judgment and the destruction of the godless. But do not ignore this one fact, beloved, that with the Lord one day is like a thousand years, and a thousand years are like one day. The Lord is not slow about his promise, as some think of slowness, but is patient with you, not wanting any to perish, but all to come to repentance. But the day of the Lord will come like a thief, and then the heavens will pass away with a loud noise, and the elements will be dissolved with fire, and the earth and everything that is done on it will be disclosed. The Magnificat. O Emmanuel, our King and our Lawgiver, the hope of the nations and their Saviour, Come and save us, O Lord our God. My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God, my Saviour. He has looked with favour on his lowly servant. From this day all generations will call me blessed. The Almighty has done great things for me, and holy is his name. He has mercy on those who fear him, from generation to generation. He has shown strength with his arm and has scattered the proud in their conceit, casting down the mighty from their thrones and lifting up the lowly. He has filled the hungry with good things and sent the rich away empty. He has come to the aid of his servant Israel to remember his promise of mercy, the promise made to our ancestors, to Abraham and his children forever. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. O Emmanuel, our King and our Lawgiver, the hope of the nations and their Saviour, come and save us, O Lord our God. Let us pray. Watchful at all times, let us pray for strength to stand with confidence before our Maker and Redeemer. That God may bring in his kingdom with justice and mercy. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear us. That God may establish among the nations his sceptre of righteousness. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear us. That we may seek Christ in the scriptures and recognise him in the breaking of the bread. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear us. that God may bind up the broken-hearted, restore the sick, and raise up all who have fallen. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear us. That the light of God's coming may dawn on all who live in darkness and the shadows of death. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear us. 
that with the saints in light, we may shine forth as lights for the world. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear us. God, our Redeemer, who prepared the Blessed Virgin Mary to be the mother of your Son, grant that as she looked for his coming as our Saviour, so we may be ready to greet him when he comes again as our Judge, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. With Christians across the world and down the ages, let us pray as our Saviour has taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. May the Lord, when he comes, find us watching and waiting. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. 